Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing your reading for the week ahead. Before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that personal readings are open, but they are limited. So um, first come, first serve. I'm only doing a few a week. So if you would like to book, you email me, book it quick. Okay, I'm not holding spots unless there is payment and just so I could be done with it. I don't want to be doing the back and forth. But my email is ariessoulguidance222 at gmail.com. Um, so there's a channeled message here. And it's quite simple. It's the fact that somebody here, and I'm actually going to pull some cards on this before we even get into the weekly reading, is someone's about to be happier than they've ever been. And the month that came was January. I never really got a month or time for, I don't like to do that, but that was strong. Something's happening in January, or by the time that you get to January, things will just be happy. I'm hearing the word peace, calm, good for you. Um, that message, I thought that that was this, I mean, the overall energy of the week ahead is really pretty good, but I thought it may have been connected to that. And it might be, if this message relates to you, this might be for you too. This music's so loud. Um, but let me pull here and see who this message is for before we even get into this reading. Because I just heard... Before I got started, they're about to be happier than they've ever been. And I'm like, hmm, I hope I'm one of those Aries too. <laughs> we all need some happiness in our lives, but this is for the collective. So let's see here. How will Aries know that it's them, me? And I mean, it could be a, it could be anything, right, in your life. But let's see what's going on now for the Aries that that's going to apply to. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that if it doesn't resonate, you're not going to be not happy. But I feel like somebody needs this message. Let's see him. Somebody could definitely feel isolated right now. Could be struggling with family issues, relationship issues. Um, take that how it resonates with family, overall happiness. Um, but I'm seeing here, this is someone here that is not just, okay, let me just put it like this. This is someone who is currently fighting for their happiness. And I felt that in my spirit. Okay. And when I say that, I mean that you're struggling to put a smile on your face every day. Um, you may be going through a very difficult situation, a dark time. Um, it could, let me clarify the, the nine of wands. And I'm getting here, maybe even struggling to get out of something, particularly a relationship. Uh, and this could be work relationship, family relationship, romantic relationship. And it was whatever relationship what is it was quite toxic and you put up with a lot and you're currently manifesting your happiness like this is someone here who is being and when i say is being very intentional about changing your life for the better it is coming there may be a period of isolation there may be a period of you um going doing some soul searching reflecting identifying who you are or who your new self is, this new person who's always been is emerging from you. But I'm telling you, the person who that is for, who is going to be very happy in January or around that time, you're going to find that peace. It's somebody who's currently right now, literally, they're fighting for their happiness. Like, it's like, it's like, you know, some people who go through this, you know, and I'm not knocking anybody, but like, you know, some people give up. The, whoever I'm speaking to, you didn't give up. You're fighting. And look at that, the five of swords at the bottom there. You're fighting for your happiness. You're fighting for change in your life. You're fighting to possibly even live your dream life with the Ten of Cups here. Um, but definitely at this moment, you are wounded. You're hurt. You're not giving up. 
you may be struggling, but the key word is, is that you are fighting. You're doing everything to continue to put one foot in front of the other. You're doing everything that you can to make the necessary, take the necessary steps and changes for your life. Okay. So I feel like it's going to be with the magician card there. I feel like something is manifesting. Something is, it's, it's taking time for you to get there, but it's going to get there. It's going to be one of those moments where you wake up and you look around and I've had that moment before. And that's the one thing about manifestation is that people will be like, they're so, you'll be so caught up on the time. And I'm telling you, that's what ruins it. If you focus on the change and the necessary steps, one day you will just wake up and look around and be like, when did I get here? Like I've had one of those, I had that moment before. It's just like, where you're just like, you, you're doing everything. My biggest thing was changing my mindset. I had a very negative mindset and it just started little by little. I would switch my words, my words, everything I've used, or I would assume or expect the worst, right? So I could be prepared or things like that. And I would just, every time I would, it's, you have to be very intentional, but I would literally stop myself. Even if I said something negative, I would stop it and change it right after. You'd be surprised doing that over and over and over and over again. One day, it's just going to be natural where your what's going to come out of your mouth is positive instead of negative. It, it really is, you just baby steps. Baby steps is what makes grand change. And I feel like I'm speaking to someone here who is working on themselves and not giving up despite the adversity that they are going through currently. Okay. So that was a specific message here, but I also want to say whoever that's for, kudos to you, pat on the back, you know, hugs from me, because that is extremely difficult to do. It's extremely difficult to do. All right. So let's get into this overall energy for the week ahead. So the first card you have here is chopped wood and it came in reverse. So I read the protection message for this card and I'm going to read it. Um, it's actually, it's actually a kick in the butt for someone. Um, the next card you have is number 23, trust your intuition. And if you can see, she's blindfolded. It's like, you don't really need to see with your eyes to make a decision ever. You need to trust what you're feeling, trust in your inner intuition. Um, you have the star card here in the tarot, the fairy tarot. And it says, look, look to the future with hope and optimism. Okay. The power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. Just a message. I didn't even read that. Okay. Um, and then you have joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Okay. So the star here is also talks about healing. Okay. Healing. Um, also wish fulfillment here. Hope after difficult situations as well. So remember to remain optimist, optimistic okay, about whatever it is that you're going through. And there may even be, it's also a card of recognition for me too, okay? So let's read Chopped Wood here for the week ahead. It's number 42. This is for Aries, the Aries Collective. Let's see here. So I'm gonna read the protection message because it came in reverse. I don't know if you can see that, if it is even there. But it says, an important relationship brings, oh, wrong one, that's a soulmate. It says, uh, are you an armchair astronaut? Do you dream of wealth and fame, big ideas, inventions, or desires with a capital D? The appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams. You have to get out of the chair to make things happen. You actually have to do something. Start with a small task. Remember the big dream becomes reality only after you have begun to take in, in, oh, excuse me, incremental steps. Mythologist Joseph Campbell once said, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. That's beautiful. And that's true too. Sometimes in your manifestations, God just wants to see that you're doing it, that you're ready, right? Like I said, you don't have to have a dollar in your pocket for whatever you're doing. Just that whole um, energy of being ready to start, to begin, to create, to manifest is all you need. Let's take a look here and see what's coming towards Aries next week.
What do we have here happening for Aries next week? The strongest energy coming towards Aries next week that they need to know about. So Aries, the first card that came out is number 11, Sudden Wealth. You have lovers and change here. Okay, so maybe a, a, a relationship status change may be coming up for the good, for the not so good, but we'll clarify here. Um, and it also could see somebody going on a trip with a lover, a vacation, vacation, um, or going to meet someone, see someone. It could be a long distance situation. Um, no more, they're saying. Okay, let's clarify these and see what this is about. Somebody here who may have been being distant, a distant lover. Distant lover, lover, lover. Okay, you know if you know if you know. <laughs> uh, if somebody has been being distant, they may reach out. Okay, let's take a look. I think that's Marvin Gaye. Let's see here. What do we have here for Aries? Nine of Pentacles. Definitely some money coming in. Definitely some money, some abundance. Could be something that you've been waiting for. Something that is growing here. You're going to be very luxurious energy I'm getting. Yeah, because the star came out again. The star came out again. Give me one more for the sudden wealth. Something that you've been praying for, hoping for, or just having the pure faith and optimism that your situation is about to change is about to change okay <laughs> it's about to change you got the nine of pentacles the ten of cups and the star that couldn't get any better in any situation um the seven of, i'm seeing seven 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 here and at the top 11 very lucky energy but it's not about luck it's more about like you created this you're doing this because somebody here is just like literally the only option is that for something you, you like let me give you an example Something may be happening. You may be waiting on um, approval or you're waiting for something to come through. And your mindset, let me just show you how this is. Your mindset is that the only answer is yes. So you didn't think about a backup plan. You didn't think about anything else. The only answer to your question, to your problem is yes, you are approved. You are getting this. You, you're hitting the jackpot, whatever it is. And because you're thinking like that, you're keeping this faith, this optimism here. You got it twice this optimistic outlook, it is absolutely happening and it's probably happening better than you could even imagine with the 10 of cups. Okay. Someone here, this is definitely a financial message. Definitely. I mean, it could be a relationship message, but definitely with the sudden wealth, it's finances here. Something's going to be very stable and secure for you. And it's going to be in abundance. It's not a 10 of pentacles, but it, it could be with the sudden wealth. You're going to be very well off. Some of you, this could have to do with a family situation too, or it's going to allow you to take care of family in some way with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be getting back child support if that's a situation too, like a back payment of any sort, not just child support, but a back payment, something that's been owed, for, owed to you, something that you've been praying for. Tell us about the lovers and the change. I'm going to clarify that together since they came out together. Wow, the Empress fell right on top of change. I'm seeing the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck in reverse. Yeah, the World card here. Give us one more here for these cards. There's the Ten of Pentacles. Let's get one more here. And the Eight of Wands. The Nine of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Wands here. This is somebody here, I feel like, who has gotten out of a relationship previously. I feel like you have been in your head about whether or not you will get into another relationship. Now, this is this coming up this week. This is very strong here. Someone is going to be getting, receiving some sort of message or communication or the start of this this next week, let's just say this is a time period. Next week is the beginning of someone's love life shifting, changing. I don't know if you get more attractive. I don't know if you've been doing something, taking care of yourself, feeling better, glowing, because there's something here about a glow up as well. 
Um, it's the beginning stages of either some, you're going to meet someone next week, or it's the beginning stages of you just looking like the word I'm getting is hot commodity or just very attractive. And you're going to have a lot of, uh, people coming towards you, wanting to ask you out, but there's something here specifically about a specific person with the world and the 10 of Pentacles. This is like the end all be all. And I'm just going to say it right like that. Like somebody is coming in very quickly. I don't ever get this type of message in the general of the weekly, but let me see here with the Ten of Pentacles, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. It's a blessing here coming in. The Tower, very unexpected. How many more? And the Three of Pentacles. A lot of earth energy, the will of fortune, the ace of wands, and the hierophant. Something is changing drastically for someone in their love life. It could also be to pertaining to work here. And because you got the most pinnacles here and then the empress energy here is a very abundant energy. I'm going to clarify the empress. But this feels like here, queen of pinnacles, all earth, ace of cups. It's very good. I'm going to tell you that it's very good for someone. Um, and it's new energy. It's new. Three Pentacles sometimes can be rebuilding, but this is newer energy. And I feel like for someone, this is a new, this is more about a new chapter. Six of Pentacles can be dating. Okay. Um, so it doesn't, it could, doesn't have to just be one person, but I feel like something here, there's a new chapter, a new page, the, a turning in someone's life. And it's just like, I feel like it could have something to do with this sudden wealth too. It could be connected to this, this increase, you know, when your money's good, you're feeling good, you're able to do things, your energy gets better, but there's this attractiveness about whoever I'm speaking to. You're taking care of yourself very well physically, financially, spiritually. I mean, every it's like something just comes into line. This is like the metaphorical jackpot. Okay. I'm not saying you're going to win the lottery, but it this is that this is kind of like the equivalent to that feeling. Okay. Um and it's something that you deserve. I'm telling you this with the six of pentacles. It's because what when you were I want to say you were a good steward. I don't know where that's coming from. So maybe there was a period in your time where you had to sacrifice a lot. Ooh, I just had that feeling where something went through my ear and out the other, where you had to sacrifice a lot. And so now you're about to be compensated for all those sacrifices that you've made. It's a very beautiful energy. And I think that's why the star card is the overall energy here. You know how you like, I think it happens like on the plane when like, it's almost like, something like goes through your ear. It's like, it gets loud here. And then it gets like, I don't know. I just had that feeling like something just went straight through my ear. Um, and then the ace of cups is at the bottom of the deck. No wonder why it's going to be a very joyful week, a happy week for someone. Let me know, come pin this, pin this reading. Cause a lot of you always come back and confirm. Let me know in the comments section. This could be for a majority this could be for somebody specific here. But I'm going to just say this. It feels like something changes for someone next week in a major way. And it's not just, a, it's like a lifestyle change. So I don't know if you decided to start something new and it takes off or you've been doing something and next week it's finally manifesting or you're seeing it materialize because there's a lot of pinnacles here. Um, you know, something starts to pay off. But it's a very good energy, very beautiful, beautiful energy. And that explains the joy at the at the top. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Just being, someone just being in this energy of joy, hopefulness, um, optimism is really doing something for someone. The biggest thing here I'm seeing with a challenge here is to take action on something. Trust your intuition. So... I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there for that. Let's see if we have any other messages. I haven't seen a, a spread like that in a while. It, I mean, that is that is really phenomenal for someone. Look at that. Money, property, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. First card out. That's what that looked like. A windfall of some sort coming through. 
You have Ness. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Climbing towards success. I mean, it's just like the first message. It's all pretty good cards. Let's see here. Let's pull one more. Got two more that came out. So this came in reverse. So I feel like period of frustration, lessons to be learned, muddled and unclear thinking. This is about to come to an end. Because there's some sort of clarity coming in for you, Aries, in your financial situation. And it's gonna be it's gonna be good for your overall health your overall emotional health, your overall mental health. And I feel like there's an angel here. There's protect, because you have protection from harm. So if you thought that something negative was happening or bad was happening, you've been being protected this whole time. Holy Spirit, spare us angels, please. Please hold on a little clear message here for the Aries collector. Tell us about this message here, Spirit. Okay. We got the Six of Swords, the Ten of Cups, in reverse, blew out in reverse on top of the ladder. I'm going to leave it there. Two of Pentacles, top of the boat. Judgment and the Nine of Swords. Tell us about them. I don't know what thinking. Queen of Wands. And the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I said that. Okay, so I said that something, this period is coming to an end and it's in reverse. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. And then Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Wands here. Um... So you kind of, you may have felt kind of stuck in the past. Maybe your creative juices wasn't slowing. You just haven't felt like yourself. The Ten of Cups here, it's like because there's some sort of breakup of a relationship, a work relationship, whatever type of relationship or something here, or you could have just kind of felt like something did not meet your expectations. You did not, you know, whatever you're wishing or dreaming of didn't happen. That was just a period. Okay, something is about to turn around with the judgment and the nine of swords. You've been stressing about something not working out, but you're about to get a second chance or revisit or redo or something that you've just been stressing about thinking it wasn't happening. It's happening because the two of pentacles is on top of the money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So I'm getting the energy up here. Somebody thought something wasn't going to happen. Maybe your finances could have been unstable, very rocky or shaky, um, and you were dependent on something coming through. There's there's this angel here with the six of swords here that is helping you get to calmer waters, seeing everything through for you. Okay. It could be a Passover loved one. It could be, um, anyway, your spirit guides, all the same, but it, it definitely here, they're helping you get through some sort of difficult situation. Hearing the word calamity. Um, okay. Ooh. Let's do the love message first. I, that was on my mind um, when I first started shuffling. So let's do the love message first. Let's start with the person on Aries' mind. Let's start with the person on Aries' mind. They said, I'm so attracted to you. I know that I crossed the line with you. I watch your social media. <laughs> so somebody here is very attracted to you, Aries. Okay. There may have been an argument. They may have done something here where they crossed your boundaries. Um, 
But they can't stop watching you. They're spying on you. They're looking at you. There's some sort of gossip here going on around this situation. Or they're gossiping about this situation to friends or family or something. Gossip, whoa, gossip came out again on top of social media. It fell out the same time, so I'm going to leave it there. So they could be looking about whatever's going on in your life and watching and stuff like that and talking about it. Communication is not happening, though, because it came out in reverse. I feel like they want it to happen, but it's not happening. Let's see here. This could be a younger person or somebody here who could be more in immature okay maybe acts a little bit immature it doesn't have to be or let me just say this not immature this is what i'm getting um they could be older but good genes you know what i'm saying maybe they are more useful in spirit okay um maybe they try to keep up with the youngsters i don't know okay but something here about a younger energy a younger spirit okay so that's not necessarily a bad thing you know a lot of aries doesn't matter how old you are they come off more younger they have that energy so it could be another aries we've got triangle energy here they could have been with somebody who was younger all right so let's see here let's get one more super focus on their business whatever that business is career family something like that um to try to not think about the situation we got fun times here is the one that flipped over parties against having fun yeah doing other things not focus on what's going on so let's see here what did they do how, how would aries know who this is what did they do because it says i know that i crossed the line with you but i'm so attracted to you and I watch your social media and gossip and talk about you. And <laughs> uh, and this could just be like with friends and things like that about, oh, do you see Aries is doing this? Like, I feel like this is almost an obsessive energy about whatever you're doing. Now, if you don't have a social media, then this doesn't it probably doesn't apply to you. Somebody is watching you heavily. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Let's clarify the social media I watch you. Six of Cups in reverse. Tell us about, I know that I crossed the line with you. High Priestess in reverse. Clarify the High Priestess in reverse. And the Star card. And the Queen of Cups in reverse. Tell us about, I'm so attracted to you. Magician and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the Temperance in reverse. Someone is feeling like, I want to say, emotionally unstable. Something about the magician. Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. They're feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling like they can't come near you. Um, I want to say this. Now, either this is someone here who is feeling drained or bogged down by their own responsibilities that they may not be taking care of themselves the way that they should be, possibly health-wise, mental health could even be a factor, or just, I want to say, like, taking care of themselves. Like, like, this is someone that could be letting themselves go. And maybe they're looking at you as someone here who is attractive, and they don't like that. It's making them kind of feel de de depressed, and just um un imbalance like there's an imbalance there with the temperance in reverse and definitely impatient now it says i know that i crossed the line with the imprint with the high priestess in reverse that's mistress energy for me okay somebody was doing something in secret in the star card it was found out and the queen of cups here in reverse is a, a very it may have been with somebody where there was just like really no emotions there. It was just somebody or they were dealing with somebody who was emotionally unstable and secure. It was, I want to say somebody was manipulating someone emotionally. And now they could have done that to you. Okay. They could have done that to you, but there was definitely here something that was revealed. Um, Six of cups in reverse here on our watcher social media. So there's somebody here who's missing you. Yep. With the ace of cups upright wanting to reach out to you 
but they're not with the nine of swords here. They're just in their head about it. The two of swords here in reverse, they're wanting to come towards you with their best foot forward with the king of pentacles. Maybe even ask you out, apologize with a big apologies for whatever they did. It could have started or caused an argument, said some things that were not nice. Um, and now they're regretting it and they feel like they can't come back from it. They also could be watching you go through something as well um, with the Ten of Swords in reverse. But they're wanting to come forward with the Ace of Cups and offer you a new beginning with Six of Cups in the reverse. And maybe you feel like they, they feel like that you would reject them. But I want to tell you this. There's somebody here that may not be taking care of themselves the best. So I don't know what's that about, but that keeps coming through very strongly. Maybe they need to go to the doctor. Maybe it's like a health checkup thing or whatever. They're kind of like letting themselves go. Um, and this could just be a period of time, right? Where somebody's going through some sort of depression. They're staying in the bed all day or something like that. Okay. Um, let's take a look here and see Aries. What's coming towards the people who have no one on their mind in love? What's coming towards those people who have no one on their mind? Let's take a look. Let's pull one to the overall energy. And they have no one on their mind. No one on their mind. Somebody's having trust issues. You need to be healing from some sort of codependent or toxic relationship that you're in. So maybe keeping you stuck from even approaching anyone at all or even inviting love into your life. But there could be someone coming in. I'm seeing deception. Okay, like somebody, someone is wearing a false self mask in relationship and trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like Aries, this is, if you're not involved with anybody, this is you having some sort of trust issues from somebody who did something to you previously in the past. And now you're deceiving yourself about whether or not you want love again and, and all of that. Let's see here. Okay. ex-lover yeah there's definitely somebody there did something we got party now you know what i was just about to say i was going to say drinking and things like that self-medicating is not the answer now i know not everybody is going to be doing that but this party energy just came out. So I just want you to like someone to not really be trying to mask that, you know, if that is something that happened to you, um, heal the healthy way. You got music, you got travel and you got signs and synchronicities, right? So maybe you need to get away for a little bit here to go like find yourself. Cause I'm seeing here with the snake in reverse and the party, you definitely with the deception twice, deception, shady temptation, enemy definitely was bamboozled by somebody that really left an imprint on you and you're trying to get over it here. We got celebration and event and public social gathering. Tell me about that. Roll the dice, take a chance, risk, leap of faith and strategy. Yeah, some of you may need to get out the house if you're invited to something. Yeah, spiritual awakening. Be careful of hookups or one night stands at the moment because it wouldn't it wouldn't do you any good um for where you're at. Because even with the mask at the bottom of the deck, I mean I'm not saying I'm not against it in any way, but where, for whoever I'm speaking to who this resonates to, it wouldn't be good for where you're at mentally and emotionally. Okay. You'd be gambling with your healing at this moment. So I'm getting something here about someone being kind of emotionally unstable because of something that they've went through. Uh, maybe you recently discovered somebody did something really shady. Um, devil's right there. And it's just not a, it wouldn't be a good look for you to go entangle your energy with someone else either. See, five of pentacles. It's like someone here is feeling really left out in the cold, kind of depressed. The emperor in reverse, you're not feeling like yourself. Maybe losing control in certain areas. With the judgment here, right? Not right. With the judgment here, feel like you definitely are about to go through some sort of awakening here and sorting through these emotions the seven of cups and the eight of pentacles somebody i am not a therapist but i'm just saying somebody may need to seek therapy to talk about these things um because i feel like somebody here is not feeling like themselves and maybe even just ignoring these feelings 
and just trying to get through this thing come this may be connected to that the message in the beginning when i was saying like in january somebody is going to be the happiest ever been but right now they're going through something that's very difficult here um tell me about the judgment nine of swords oh somebody was triggered something happened and it triggered some sort of trauma the seven of pentacles seven of cups childhood trauma page of wands seven of cups i've never gotten this message here before um maybe even something to do with a mother but there is healing coming for you aries and the four of wands and there is happiness coming with the empress and the four of wands but i'm telling you this the eight of wands here somebody needs to talk about what they're going through Somebody needs to talk about what they're going through. That's like the next step in your journey, your self-love journey, your healing journey, your love journey in general. Isolation is not the answer for this particular situation, what you're going through, right? Um, and maybe you feel like there's nobody that you can talk to about it, but I feel like somebody was definitely deceived, tricked, bamboozled, maybe cheated on in the worst type of way here. And somebody here is just kind of like, going through it going through it the eight of pentacles i always look at as like sometimes it could be building whatever you're working on with your craft and things like that but i also look at it as like a self-help type of card going within healing yourself maybe even physically like it, it's just something here that needs to be examined with whatever happened instead of pushed to the side and definitely not going to to, to, to date like you know that whole thing like getting over one person getting under another one and things like that it's not the right time there will be a time for that but right now is not the right time for someone because i feel like that could make your emotional health your emotional sense and well-being a lot worse so even what it is now because when you're in a low vibration like that you're going to attract somebody in a low vibration and then what are they going to do? They're going to do little vibrational things. And then that's not going to be good. <laughs> you know, that's then you're going to be worse than where you started. So let's take a look about your finances. Even though we had a big financial message in the beginning, let's take a look about your finances here, Aries, for the week ahead. What is the financial message here, Aries, needs to hear? Clean energy food on it. Um... I had a, I had a, I had a message. I have a message about energy food and food that I know I have to give. And I know spirit will give me a kick in the butt. I feel like spirit's giving me a break right now. Um, because this channeled message has, it, it hit me when I got off the plane from Mexico and then everything started spiraling. And then I had to give this message to somebody actually personally at my gym. Um, and I'm starting to see it unfold and I will give it to the collective. It's just, when it came to me first, it felt like a fear-based message. And the last thing I ever want to do is put fear into the collective without a solution. But I mean, there is a solution and I think there is one, but it's rather not, you know, people are going to listen and take heed to it. So I might make this a separate video um, to to give that channel message because it came to me so strong. And then, and then, then I got back and saw my mom and it was kind of confirmed. So um Somebody needs to hear it. And so I will definitely give that message. But somebody at my gym, it was like spirit came to me and was like, that person needs that message specifically. So I had to sit down and talk to them the other day. Give that message. Oh man, it was so chilling. But anyways, let's <clears throat> let's go into this. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the clean energy food here, definitely. If, the, if you've been feeling like you need to clean up your diet, please. Please make a promise to yourself, okay, that you will definitely start to do that slowly but surely and examine and watch what you're eating in your labels and all of those things. And don't think that you're always safe just eating vegetables and, and fruits from the, the grocery store. You know, if you can, if you can grow your stuff, if you can um, go to a farmer's market, if you can do things like that, do that, okay, because there's about to be a lot fewer places that we can actually trust with our food. Um, it says when you fuel your body with a health for organic diet, you increase your nose ring energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency. 
better ideas and higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. And then you got obstacles and blocks are lifted next week. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and reward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. That is beautiful. Okay. So it's again, Back to the star card energy of the overall energy of the week, okay? Look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. I'm telling you, obstacles and blocks are about to be lifted for someone. This is a very significant message. It keeps repeating in all the spreads. So let's see here. What do we have here for areas and money next week? What do we have here for Aries and money next week? Finances and career, excuse me. Finances and career. Tell me about what we have here. What is the overall energy? the judgment, and the six of pentacles. I'm telling you, there's some of you, There's you're about to receive a judgment or a decision here in something where you're deserving some sort of payout and you're going to get it. This is also, I always look at the six of pentacles as a blessing from the universe because it's like what you've put out into the world, you're about to get back. Okay. And a lot of you, it's monetary. All right. Any challenges? Ace of cups. Any challenges here next week? And the Knight of Wands. Be careful not to spend so quickly what you get, okay? Do not impulse shop or buy, okay? Remember, we do have the holidays coming up. So if this is, uh, we're just about to get into October, don't spend everything that you're about to get before you got to buy gifts and whatnot. Now, if it's just you, you know, it's just you, but also put some money away, okay? Because Spirit is saying with the Temperance card, temper yourself balance. Okay. You may have been in a difficult situation. Use your intuition here with the high priestess, but you don't want to put yourself back into a difficult situation. Okay. You're receiving a blessing for a reason. And we have the hermit last but not least be wise about whatever this situation is. Three of swords here and the seven of swords in reverse. Keep this message keeps coming out. Keep your business to yourself. Keep your business to yourself. The outcome is the hermit, the three of swords, and the seven of swords in reverse. If you do not keep something to yourself, it could hurt you in the long run, really bad. And it's by someone here, the death card here could be a Scorpio, got Virgo energy, queen of wands, there you are. Somebody could be quite greedy. Somebody could be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The two of swords here. Creative. Um, I don't know. You know. You're talking about people who are are, 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 man, what is the word I'm looking for? Conniving. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. Conniving. But that's not it. It's like, you know, when people are, I don't know, creative with their words. Okay, Chelsea. Um, but somebody here could definitely be quite conniving, tricky. Um, man, it's just gone. It's gone. The thesaurus has closed for the day. Um, but I'm going to say this, there's somebody here who could definitely be um, a con artist type of energy. So you definitely need to keep your things to yourself. That would be the smartest thing with the hermit here. That would be the wisest thing you can do is to keep whatever is going on with your finances or your situation here to yourself. It could be something that you are creating. You are working on with your own business, your own manifestations, your own entrepreneurship endeavors here. Keep it to yourself because it could it could backfire. It could block. Somebody could block something for you in some sort of, sort of way. Even if it's just evil eye energy, negativity, hate, it's, it's, it's not a good look because you are about to receive some sort of blessing and um, you just don't need to speak about it. See, five of swords. Somebody here is waiting to interfere there's some sort of narcissist lingering, waiting to try to defeat you, take you down. And the death card keeps coming out with the magician here. Um, could be Scorpio energy if this is a sign. I'm seeing Pisces here. 
heavy Scorpio. We have Sagittarius energy and Virgo energy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pull a few guardian, uh, mm, what is it called? Angel answer cards and um, monology cards because today, I do believe it is a full moon today that I'm recording this. So let's see here. Let's see what messages we have for you, Aries, to leave you with here for the week ahead. What messages do you need to see here for the week ahead for Aries? Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. For the week ahead, what does Aries need to know? You have a big fat yes here. Could be an approval. Something is working out, improving health. Something is working out for you, Aries. You have take action. That was the message. <laughs> that was the message with chopped wood in reverse, okay? Something here, using your intuition, it's time for you to take action on something you're creating or you're doing, okay? Um, give us one more here and look for a sign. Look for a sign because it will be coming heavy on the following your intuition here in the next week. What do we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? Balance your spirituality and your practicality. That's that's the same thing. It keeps coming out. Take action and trust your intuition. Balance your spirituality and practicality. Full Moon in Pisces. Adjustments are required. Communication is key. New Moon in Gemini. And you got the end of a tough cycle approaches. I just want to call the reading because that's really what's happening here. The end of a tough cycle approaches. All right. So that's what I have to. What? Let me leave you. I was leaving you a guardian angel card. And then let me close it. Let's see here. This is for Aries. What do they need to hear for the week ahead? The star. Aries spirit is all in this reading. The way they just stopped me to pull this card. And you got the star. I think the star was the overall energy right here. It came out in another. It's been all through this reading. Let me tell you something. Believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. Allow all around, allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. Moving, illumin love illuminates all things. And never forget you are truly a shining star. Amen. That's what I have to do. Guys, take care.